So I'll be showing you how to change the notification sounds for third party apps on your iPhone. Now, if you try to change some notification sounds and maybe even have different sounds for different apps, you might have noticed that when you go to try and change notification sounds, you can only do that for Apple applications and not third party apps. So for instance, if you go to uh, settings and, and then go to notifications and then look for a stock app like messages. Let's go to messages for instance, or FaceTime. Okay. So when you go to FaceTime, you should see that under sounds, you can actually tap on that and then use different notification sounds and you can choose from a list of different notification sounds but when you go and try that on a third party app like uh even let's say amazon for instance you should see that there's no option to change the notification sound you can only turn it on or off so to change the notification sound of a third party app on your iphone what you need to do is get into that specific app's settings. Now, some apps will have the option, some apps won't, some apps will have more options than others. It just depends on which app you're trying to change notification sounds for. So let's go ahead and try and change notification sounds for an app like Facebook Messenger. So for Facebook Messenger, you can't do it in the settings, but you can do it inside the app. So go to Facebook Messenger and then tap on the three lines in the top left corner and then go to settings and then under settings go to notifications and sounds and then here you'll note that under text tone you can actually change to you can actually choose different notification sounds uh, for that specific application from within the app settings so you can go and check the app whose notification sound you want to change and check if they have that setting in the app's settings. Sometimes you'll strike luck, sometimes you won't. But that's basically the only way you can change notification sounds for third party apps on your iPhone. Now I'm using the iPhone 14 for this tutorial running iOS 16, but it's the same instructions for previous iPhones and also iPads. Thanks for watching and good luck.